And welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Two tournaments, one WPA world title, $500,000 here in Puerto Rico, up for offer. Predator Group presents the Medalla Light Women's 10 Ball Championship. $75,000 prize fund, 22 5 first prize. We are down to the semifinals. And your semifinalist is Kelly Fisher and Cho Chehu. This is George Teacha with Mark White in the booth bringing you the live action. Hello, George. Hello, Mark. Yeah, I've just done Kelly's semifinal. I believe you've done Jasmine's semifinal. So it's all changed here. It has. Uh, I tell you, the, the, the quarterfinal with Jasmine and uh, Jessica Centeno was a quick turnaround. Jessica started out like a ball of fire and won 4-1 uh, in the first set. And Kelly came back. I mean, excuse me, he got me with Kelly. And uh, Jasmine came back and then it rattled off seven games in a row. Wow. Yeah, then, I can't believe Kelly's here. I mean, she's really on a, uh, an unexpected life here. She was all but out, 3-1 down in the final set. And somehow, I mean, she called a foul on herself, Jim, on the seven ball, called a foul on herself. And her opponent didn't get on the on the nine ball nicely and didn't get on the ten ball nicely missed the ten and it went to a shootout and in the end Kelly somehow found that grip determination to win so good break there Jim from Chao Chao Yu in our semi-final final coming up later this evening at 5pm Jasmine Ocean in action against Wei Chu Chen on table two. That is also available on the YouTube channel, guys, if you want to go and watch that. We're sticking with this one. Well, Che Yu Chow also goes by Rita Chow, and we'll call her Rita. Uh, made the 10-ball on the side, and the one ball, and now she's playing on the two ball. Funny how that works in rotation pool, doesn't it? Nice hit, no scratch. Almost made the ball, but left Kelly a very nice opening shot. Yeah, nice path for the cue ball as well to get up for the three ball. We're playing two out of three races to four. If the players are tied after one apiece, it goes to a third and deciding set, which can go to a shootout if they are tied at three in that third and final set. Yeah, both our quarterfinals did, George, didn't they? Well, yes, they did. An eye on your, wow, what a miss that is from Kelly. I'm not sure if she maybe got a skid on that. I'd like to see that again. Maybe it's skid. She's stretching out. Let's have a look at this, Jim. Did it skid? Yeah, a no. skid on it, maybe. Just went a little bit straighter than she caught it. But Rita not having the ball clean so perhaps it was just a, a bad miss always like to try and make an excuse for the player George yeah well see I think she didn't cut it enough I'm not real sure he could have skidded I wasn't really looking at it saw the replay Cho Rita 777 Fargo to Kelly's 764 they're in the top five of all Fargo rated women Chao Chao Yu ran in nine ball champion. She won the ten ball a year ago in Austria. Title now held by Cesca Centino. Well, oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Caught the four ball and she's ended up hooking herself. So she's put herself in a bit of trouble here. Well, Cho can play as smooth as anyone. Uh, Every so often she'll get a little off, but I tell you, what cue control she has. Yeah, talking of cues, now in Austria, she did switch to a different shaft because I went up to her and asked her about her white ferrule. She's well known, of course, for this brown one. And she had a, a white one. And I thought that she'd maybe had a new ferrule fitted, but it was a completely different shaft. But she's gone back to that one. Going back to what she knows. Yeah, I'm very familiar with that uh, feral that she has. I actually have a cue with my card of feral on it. And uh, it has a real distinct hit. It's a nice, nice soft hit. 
Almost the same as, a, as an ivory ferrule. Comes pretty close. No more ivory ferrules these days. All balls they used to be. Balls used to be made of ivory. Yeah, billiard balls especially. Yeah, you can't. In fact, if you're traveling the world internationally with a cue that has a lot of ivory, I'd be very careful. That can be confiscated in a heartbeat. So, a chance given away here from Chao Yu after hooking herself. Rita, also known as Big Eyes as well. And talking of Big Eyes, is a big prize. <laughs> On offer here, twenty-two and a half thousand dollars, Jim, to the the winner, I believe. Runner-up gets how much? The runner-up gets sixty-five, sixty-three. No, twenty-two five for first place. Runner-up thirteen to one twenty-five. And if the player, the loser here, will actually cash sixty-five hundred and sixty-three dollars. Not to be sniffed at. Nope, they'll pay for the trip. Free holiday in Puerto Rico. And it's a good one, too. Unless you catch a cold. I'm trying to stay as far away from you as possible. It's okay. I'll keep my distance. It's like going back to the COVID days, isn't it? We're, all we need is a big plastic screen well, between us, George. That's right. One of those uh, little uh, plexiglass screens. Oh, she's overhit this by a mile. Oh. Well, the only promising thing about this shot is it's tough, but if she makes it, she's going to have nice position on the 10. You know, I try that technique of patting the table. With doesn't the work, does coming it? By. No, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I felt what you do with your hands before you hit the ball matters more than what you do with them after you've hit the ball. Usually you're not standing up when you do that. You're kind of leaning over the table. Kelly is sure shot, so this game is, is in her wheelhouse. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. And she's made it. Kelly Fisher, one of the most successful players on the Pro Billiard Series, along with Rita Cho. Rita, of course, the world 10 ball champion in Austria last year. And then right after that, you mentioned she won the world nine ball in Atlantic City. So for a short time there, she held both titles, nine ball and 10 ball world champion. And now Cheska Centeno, Centeno has taken that over just uh, today, uh, just recently, just uh, in Austria again. Yeah, Kelly done a little bit Filipino on us. She's um, put in some powder on her hands there. Maybe it's a little bit that Cheska Centino left over because that's where she was sitting for the last match on here, the quarterfinal. And she sat down for a while. But that was actually a great match. Ches Cheska being the player she is got fired up when she won the second game in the third set and came back to win uh, the third to force the shootout. But a real strong out in the last round, which he had not been accomplishing before prior to that. So Kelly was breaking very well in the quarterfinal. Watch out for the five boy in this side pocket. It went close, but she did get the eight in the opposite side. And... Uh, Oh, she's got to look at the one. No real shot on it. Would she maybe have a go at this, George? I think she... Let's take a look at it from this angle. I didn't like the other angle. I don't know if she'll try to cut that. I think she might just bank that and try to put the uh, cue wall behind the five or go around the dime and come down. I, she's uh, she a little tricky here. Let's see just what she does. It's not like banking the one ball down by the 10 and taking the cue ball right behind the five.
Oh, uh, she got it where she did, didn't quite get there. She, did, she well, had too much air coming off. She's knocked the six in, so it's a good job she didn't. Mm -hmm. Knocked the six in the side, so Chow will come back to the table. And if she had have been hooked, she would have been putting Kelly straight back in again. Luckily, she has got a look at this one ball. Yeah. She began at this four, George. I think I might let Kelly shoot here. It's a makeable shot. Yeah, you're too nice, though, George. Well, let's see how it turns out. I think I may have. Well, actually, Kelly's going to have a nice safety here. That was a tough combo. Very tough combo. Just wondering, is the bank on? Is the bank on? Yeah, the bank She's is definitely on. She's going for it. She's called it. Two, not too far away either from the one. Might even get on the two into the same pocket. Oh, wants to come through and little bump on the three. It's cost the position. Made the bank okay. For a minute, it just looked like it might sneak through. And as we watch a Kelly around these shots here. Uh, to get to this semi-final, she defeated Elise Kui, Yuki Hiraguchi, Christina Zalteva, and Olivia Zaleska. Rita Cho, on the other hand, to get here, defeated Vanya Franco, but lost to Rubelin Amit. Then came back and defeated April Larson, Christina Takach, and Wan Ling Wang. Now faces Kelly Fisher. Yeah, nice clean bank there. Taiwanese final. It's it's a possibility. Wei Chu Chen up against Jasmine on table two. Well, we had that in the World Ten Ball Championships in Austria, didn't we? It was Wei Wei and uh, and Rita Cho. Han Yu, I think it was, wasn't it? No, this was just. I'm talking about last year. When when Cho won her championship, a world title, it was Wei Wei that's a runner-up. Three rows for the nine into the top left. Natural. Now, options can play with a little inside, or she can come round two rows coming towards the ten. always coming in on the line of the, the shot so this 10 ball to level things up at 1-1 one, one. <laughs> round of applause from the packed audience ties things up at 1 yeah, and these two will clash tonight also in the world teams because Team GB will be up against Chinese Taipei in the quarterfinal of the teams. Great format. The ladies' singles, which, of course, these two will play. And then we'll have the men's pick, which will be will definitely will be Phil Burford for Team GB. He'll be up. Well, we don't know yet who Taipei will choose, but probably Chang Jung Lin. Or Wu Kunlin, one of the two. Both champions. The 
And we'll have the Scotch doubles and then the team pick. And then if we're level after that, it'll all go to a shootout. That's for later on. Back to the singles. They're going head to head now. Never mind later on. 1-1. One, one. one inside. Wow. Nice break. So from what I've seen so far, Cho is breaking the balls pretty well. Yeah, he's going to have to go at the 2-6 here. Yeah, it's, if that's the worst of his troubles, this should be an easy rack. But as we know, in pool, never easy. Yeah, the good thing about taking the 6 there is it makes the position to the 7 much easier because she'll be getting there from the 5 which is right next to it so that makes a big difference george that's a good good point mark oh i do make them occasionally i have been known george i've heard that about well, you normally won a tournament I, I i saw on facebook where you won a few tournaments <laughs> over in thailand and all about the world you were traveling oh, oh my dear. that is an uncommon yeah. mistake from her and the problem with that that I've seen is when she makes one, it's usually followed by another and possibly another. Wow, she just completely took her eye off that. She was almost ready to play the four even before she played the three. So a bad error there. And that will give Kelly a little boost. In these short races, an error like that can cost you a set. Because it's a two-game swing. The one you should have won and the one that goes on the scoreboard for your opponent. And as you said, it'll be easy to get position from the five to the seven. Yeah, and the eight the six very gone. nice as well, doesn't it? Yes, that, it does. The seven, nothing to do with the cue ball again here. Just stroke this in. just bring it back a little bit or go forward just a little bit to give herself some kind of an angle to come down for the 10. And that's just enough angle to slide over to the left hand side of where the nine ball is and come down for the 10 straight down. Yeah, she's looking good, isn't she? Yes, she is. She, she, when she's, she's focused, she's tough to beat, very tough. And it's apparent she's won three. I believe she's won three of these. Yes, she won the third one in Michigan just recently. Her third uh, Pro Video Series tournament. I'm in control of this one. Two one up. And right after that third win, she cut John Lehman's ponytail off. What do you think of that? I think she should have cut the whole lot off, actually. I think it would be a whole lot better if they just chopped the whole lot off. I said that to him, actually, when I arrived here in Puerto Rico. He said, do you know what? You're not the first person to say that. <laughs> That's my New York accent. I'm sorry about that, New Yorkers. Well, it's okay, Mark. Everyone around, around here likes your uh, uh, British accent. Well, everywhere I go, I've been out to the Jam Up booth on a few occasions and I walk over there and they're all doing my accent <laughs> or trying sounds like Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins or like Benny Hill I think I used to love him watching him on TV great humor I haven't seen you pat anybody on the head yet though well I would do if John had all his hair shaved off Breaking for game number four. From the side, playing the one to the side. And, oh, it's just short. Yeah, changed the break there, didn't she? First time I've seen a break from the side today. She's been breaking more or less central. 
Well, she probably saw the success that Dorita's having. So she changed right away. Better sooner than later. A little cluster over that side of the table. to get to the three ball which is well, she's going to have to get to this back rail can she get the cue ball past the seven that's what she's looking at now let me use a little bit of pace here might even draw up the seven in between the, the four and the nine what about that George Oh, no, she could get through, no problem. And she got perfect on this three ball. Yeah, absolutely perfect. I should just go up to the middle of the table to get on the four. Look how handy the five is for the from the four to the five. Six in the middle pocket. It's just a road map. Well, we might as well just sit back and... Well, in rotation, Watch pool, it. our job is easy. You always know what ball they're going to shoot next. How they're going to shoot it. Well, it's up to the players. But we try to guess sometimes, and many times we're wrong, many times we're not. A lot of it has to do with what we see on the monitor and what they see at the table. Judged, found the gap between the six and the seven. And just a nice little draw, draw back a foot or so. Maybe overdrew it slightly. Yeah, didn't have to come back that far, Jim. Jim, George. Yeah. Harry, Paul. I haven't said anything, but you've called me Jim like five times. Since we started, and I know why you've been doing a lot of commentary with Jim. But I got some tidbit information here for uh, for all the viewers, and maybe for you too, Mark. I have a little uh, chart here from uh, Fargo on their head-to-head -head matches and their overall common opponents. Can you change your name to Jim? It make my life so much easier. You can call, you can call me Jim. What's that song with, uh, uh, I forget what it is. You can call me Al. Sure. Paul Simon. Is that what you were thinking of? No. So this eight ball then. Honestly, on the nine. You know, and I, I was wondering if she was going to really go forward with that two rails or around. And I thought going forward would have got her down too low for the nine ball, so I can see why she came around. Now she's perfect for a stop shot. And tying things up. And then I'm going to tell you how these ladies have done playing each other. Yeah, fast in your seat belts. This is going to be fast, furious, and very, very close. 2-2. Two, two. Go ahead, George. Well, when these young ladies play their common opponents, and there's quite a few of them that they've played, Kelly's percentage against the same opponents that Rita plays is 56%. Uh, Rita's performance is 56.6. Pretty, pretty much right on the same level. And in the last... So like when they've played a common opponent, yes? I'm sorry? And they've played a common... Common opponents, yes. Mm -hmm. And then I have nine games where uh, Rita won in Puerto Rico... And she won the Predator 10 ball. But then Kelly won in the all 22 World Games in Birmingham. And then again in uh, Beijing, uh, Rita won. Well, Kelly's defeated her three times and lost six. And what's surprising is I don't see any of the, of the Pro Billiard Series on this chart. I think they've played in the Pro Vineyard Series. I need to get with Mike Page and, and see some of this information. Oh, 
Oh, look at the seven ball, or the four ball rather. Last ball. Goes in the corner. A good look at this one ball. And it goes in this corner as well by the looks of it. Two available also, so just a straightforward roll through. Looking good to get on the heel here. Well, they are tied at two, so... Oh, what a lock-up safety. Yeah, I wasn't interested in going for it. I wouldn't be either, not when you had that safety available. Great shot. I'd much rather work, try to work with ball in hand than trying to get on that, that uh, two ball from there. Yeah, Kelly in a whole lot of trouble here. And even if she hits it, you get it safe. Well, one of the things to think about with that one ball where it is, she better hit it because she has a nice carom on the 10. If she gets ball in hand, she has a nice carom on the 10. Yeah, and they do count in this format. Yeah. On the WPA rules. In the team championships that we've been uh, commentating, it's WPA rules, so it does not count as you just mentioned. But here it does. And she didn't hit it, so let's see what. Uh... Oh, but look what the six did. No, I think it hasn't, has it? Well, I'm not even sure she would take it on George. I don't think with the six there, I don't think she will. But let's take a look. Let's see what she does. She's looked at it. Nope, she's playing just the one. I like little shots like that. Just little carom shots that lay nice. A lot of the pros don't, though. You live on the edge, you do, George. Uh, that's not I've much of an edge. I've seen your motorbike. You've seen my motorbike. Yeah, during COVID, I had a uh, two for a while. I like that, that shot. Side. Beautifully played. A lot of players will take that down to the bottom rail, will come straight back up, but they put left English on it, and sometimes it grabs too much and would have gone into the six ball. So she avoided that completely by going in the opposite direction. That was straight back. This is a nice shot right here. This is along the same lines as the spot shot, and you can come one rail for position or double out of the corner on the, on the right here and go two rails for position. Or the legs, she'll come one. Just has to avoid the side pocket. She took her extension there. They don't like to hear that beeping in 10 seconds. Oh, used the 10 very cleverly. Look at that for a shot. Was that a highlight shot? Considering we haven't written any down. Wow. She's got on the eight and missed the seven. Unbelievable. What a chance for Kelly Fisher to get on the hill first now then. Well, you know, shots like that are match losers. That's just a tough, tough break there when you miss something like that. Yeah, but she was 
you know, concentrating on the cue ball so much for the second time in this match now, forgot to make the ball. She did it on the, th I think it was a two ball earlier. Poor miss from Chao Chao Yu there. Quite a long way from the cue ball when she was lining up there. Normally a sign of your, your timing's not great. Well, everything else on the shot was, because look where she's ended up and look where she is now. This 10 ball to take the lead. And Fisher takes a one game lead. They've exchanged games. Uh, from the break, neither player has won their break yet. She must be thinking she's living a charmed life at the moment. I mean, the, the temple that Olivia Zaleska missed to win the match against her, it was just kind of uh, meant to be, maybe. You know, sometimes that's one of the factors that that that, that uh, fall into winning a tournament. The stars just align. That can happen sometimes. Yeah, for those of you who didn't see it, Kelly Fisher owned up to a, a foul that no one else saw. As she made the seven ball, her cue brushed the the eight ball, and she stood up and gave it over to Olivia. It's a nice thing about our sport, George, the, the sports womanship and sportsmanship in the game. Yeah, sportsmanship is very important in this this uh, sport. And one of the things that kind of muddies the water is the gambling involved, unfortunately, because that's where sometimes the sportsmanship falls short. Nice break. Shot on the one. Two tied up, though, with the six. Not sure if she can play maybe to leave the bank on it. Pretty square hit on those, George. Yeah, she's looking to see if she can make the two ball from where the one ball is now. Oh. Always got the safety option as well afterwards. Just make this one ball. I like that better than trying to get by the. Well, actually, no. I think she's got. I think she has room. Just follow it up the hair. Doesn't have to go far. Yeah, this looks good. She's it done does. it. It does. The sounds in the background are the Caribbean Expo, Billiard Expo. Go more into that later, but she has hung up this two ball. Yeah, it was very tight to get through there. I wasn't even sure she could, but she obviously thought she could. And she maybe she was just trying to turn it in with a bit of right hand. Well, spin. A lot of times when you know you're really, really close the other object's really close. You tend to shy away from going that close to it so you don't to not make the bad hit that you undercut your ball. Even though you had more room, you focus on the other. It's very common. Seven ball, still a problem. Take a risk here, but she's not. So she's going to have to play some kind of good positional shot from the six. 
to the seven when she comes to it. Force this round. Three rails. Nicely done. And now the problem of that seven. Not the best of angles here. Might see Kelly back to the table, you know. Well. Even if it's just to get out of a hook behind the eight. So he doesn't have the angle to go between the eight ten to get to the seven, so let's see what she comes up with here. Yeah, I think she's gonna play some kind of hook on the seven ball. Just make the six cue ball anywhere down this end of the table really, preferably somewhere near the, the spot, just behind the spot maybe. She could play the seven ten combo. And by bringing the cue ball down by the corner pot, by drawing it off the same combo, she might bring the eight into play. Be safety first. Sneak the seven in between the rail and the tent. Tried to play a two way there and it's gone wrong. Now a chance for Kelly, but look at that 10 ball, George. It's in a tough place. Unless it goes to the side and it's gotten really, really sharp and close to that sharp corner. That's one place you hate to see the your positional shot because you have to play. You have to settle for the uh, leave the cue ball by the seven. Oh, she hit the ten. I'm not sure what happened there. It worked in Rita's favor. I think she was trying to put a bit of spin on it to get around the ten slightly. Oh, what a let off. For Rita Chow. <laughs> Thought I just noticed Jason Statham in the audience. I didn't know he was a fan <laughs> me the the left him. there he heard me talking about him now he's just turned around and left perhaps he wants to remain incognito Keanu Reeves loves a game of pool often goes to Amsterdam in New York I've heard And they are tied at three and still have not have yet to win a game on their break. Yeah, Hill Hill in the first set. three sets. Wei Chu Chen off to an absolute well disaster for her. It's Jasmine Ocean taking the first set. So our defending champion is one set down. Two ball in the side. And look at the one as well, George, and this is on. It is. 
I think uh, Cho will like this. An angle to get to the three as well. Two already down. Jasmine also involved in the teams with brother Albin and the panda Mario He. They play this evening against Team USA. They haven't lost yet, have they? No. Lost you? Nor of America, so it's going to be a good one. So they're already through to the quarterfinals? Yeah, it's the quarterfinals tonight. Oh, that's right, that's right. They're playing Team Austria against Team USA, Team Germany against Team Spain, Chinese Taipei against Great Britain, and Team Portugal, a little bit of a surprise, Portugal against Team South Korea. Well, the young man, Joe Ao Grillo, came off a big win uh, to beat Shane Van Boney. That's a little David against Goliath. And he came away with the winner to shoot out. Yeah, a long three hour match that was. And ended up coming over and playing Josh Filler. And Josh Filler destroyed him. Josh put on a clinic. An absolute clinic. Under 30 minutes, I heard. It was probably under 20. It was close, but right between there somewhere. Yeah, the match started a half hour after yours started over here on table one, and we were on table two. And we were done before you were in the second set. How tips is the patch on her arm? KP Tech is the maker of her cue. Looking white patch on her right chest is the Chinese Taipei symbol. Get a good look at it there. Looks like the Audi rings. Yes, the Olympic rings. Yeah, isn't it? it's the Olympic rings. Yeah. Oh, she has left that out. Oh, no, it still went in. Yeah, there's a big push to get Q Sports into the 2032 Olympics in Australia. On Q for 32 is the hashtag. Be great to see this sport on a more global platform such as the Olympics. We might be able to rival Cornhole then, George. Who knows? Miss, what a chance again. Uh, she comes to the table. I think she was very surprised. That last little joke just got me coughing. Right? That was good. <laughs> Rivaling cornhole. Yeah, and they've only got one hole. We got six. There you have it. Good shot. Maybe just a little bit short. Well, this is the type of shot that Olivia Zalewska missed against Kelly to give her the chance at the shootout. In it goes. So, first set will go to Kelly Fisher. Well, she's halfway to yet another final 
Right in the heart of the pocket, kind of like a mini shootout shot, wasn't it? So Kelly leaving the arena along with Rita Chow, George Taya Chow and myself, Mark White. We're going to step out for a couple of minutes too. We'll be back after a short break. doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This 10 ball to win the title. He is your champion. You will champion. Champions. doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This 10 ball to win the title. He is your champion. You will champion. Champions. And we are back to Puerto Rico at the convention center. And as you viewed that champions clip that we keep playing for you, you can tell now and look now, we have two champions for you in this match. Kelly Fisher and Che Yu Cho. And you saw them collecting their trophies for the past year. So a lot to see there. And you can see how happy they are when they get their trophies. And sometimes when you watch them on here, you can see how sad they get when they don't. Yeah, funny moment from Puerto Rico last year when Rachel Chen was picking up her trophy. Jasmine tried to grab it off of her, but she wasn't having any, any of it. But Jasmine, well on her way to get into the final this year, lost out to... The flash, Cesca Centino in the semi. I sat watching 
the final next to Jasmine and she said to me, I wish she would have played this bad against me <laughs> in the semi. She played lights out against Jasmine in last year's semi-final and then right. didn't play so well against Weiwei in the final. Well, Kelly to break here in the opening set, opening game of the second set. Then just to break down the first set, J.U. Cho had six errors in that set, and Kelly Fisher had five. Kelly had one dry break, and two chose zero dry breaks, so she pocketed the ball most of the time. Yeah, it's dry this time for Kelly also. Cho, Cho fouled once, and Kelly fouled twice. That pretty much gives you the rundown. It's such a tight set, and four to three. No one ever won two games in a row. Key miss on that seven ball, wasn't it, for Chow? Oh, that was big, yeah. So there's the push out. Just explain the push out, George, for fans that may be new to the game, sure. looking at it for the first time. After the break, uh, the the incoming player, the player that just broke, if they make a ball, can push out. And Rita has chosen to push out. Kelly has the option to take the shot or give it back to her. And usually you'll find uh, a player pushed to a place where they feel their opponent may not see an opportunity that they have in mind. Or like that one. Like that one. And she, you know, Joe didn't see that safety. If she had seen that safety coming, she may not have taken the push out. Good point, Mark. Jump stick will come out here for sure. Might call the four ball just in case. I want to just play the one up and down. Yeah, she's called the four ball. Does the one go past the four? I can't quite see from here. Yeah, she did call the four. And a good go at it as well, George. And she's had a result. Hasn't left anything for Kelly. She's got to look at the one, but... Good effort there on the one four combo with the jump cue. So now safety thin off the one. Side pocket. Ball. I pocket it, found it. Dear oh dear, and I don't think I've ever seen Kelly scratch so much. Quarter final had a couple of bad scratches, notably on a five ball she was playing around the angles, but a very important part of the match. Well, shot of the two, easy to get to the three. She has her choice of pockets. Probably will just follow it. Try to get straight in on it and bring it back for the four. Oh, she wants to be a little straighter than that. Unless she's going to be going forward. I wonder where the name is. Sack the waiter, fire the waiter, George. He just fell over with a tray full of drinks. Well, we all make mistakes. Why would you fire him? He has a family to feed. Plus, he brings good food. Not to that table that was waiting for it. It's all over the floor. Pretty good shape here. Five to the six. The seven is available. 
The eight ball just need to come down for it. And Cho Che Yu looking good through this rack. The opening rack of the second set, which he needs to win to send it to the third and deciding set. Otherwise, Kelly Fisher will move on into the finals. And both of these players know what, where to find the finals and how to come through them. And they're both champions. Speaking of champions, Pro Billiard Series Women's Showdown will be coming up the last week of February to March 1st in Las Vegas. It's a 16 player women's showdown invitational. $100,000 prize fund, $35,000 to the first prize winner. Just those 16 players. Yeah, I believe they all cash in that as well, even even the exchange. Exactly. They all get paid right? for They all get pretty much an appearance fee. Uh, it will be the WPBA uh, rankings, and they'll be ranked. The first top eight will be seated, and the other eight invitationals, I think they just went out. And... Uh, It'll all be set up for the last week of February. See you in Vegas, George. I haven't missed Vegas since 2016. I miss it every time I leave. Uh, I've got a bit of work to do here, though. I don't. I, I don't. I find the first nine days amazing. In the last two, pretty hard. <laughs> this is a test up. Long tester. This is a practice shot. It's all stroke. It's a hard to shot pool. And she hits it beautifully. Yeah, she didn't hold on to the cue ball. Stun followed rather than stunned. She just gesticulated where she wanted it. The ten ball now. She needs to pull out another one. Oh, she's hung it up. She's hung it up. I was actually wondering if she was going to play the quarter or the side pocket there. The side pocket is closer and more available. Oh, how but is that not dropped? Those shots are tough shots. They are tough shots. That's why she hit that nine ball so beautifully. It was further away. It was a tougher shot. What a shot she made there. And then what a shot she missed there. Uh, one extreme to the other. And that will hurt. It's cost up the rack, and it's also cost the break in the next one as well. Kelly broke and run two in a row in her quarterfinal against Olivia Zalewska. She'd love to do that now because she'd be on the hill if she did. Breaking and running is one of the best ways to win. Your opponent never has a chance to hurt you. So Louis Vuitton, she's got on there, isn't it, George? That belt? I would know. I'm sure that's what you wear, don't you? No. My belt has one side. Uh, it, is, it is branded, actually. What is it, then? Come on. Don't keep us in suspenders. The belt? I'm in suspense. The belt is actually Harley Davidson. Oh. oh. Close. Got kicked in the side. Is the one ball going to go? Nine oh. ball, rather. The one or the nine ball? Yeah, the nine ball looks similar when it's spinning because it looks like a one ball. All merges all into one yellow colour, George. A yellow blob. Well, let's see if we maintain the same pattern as the first set. And the ladies not winning a game off their break. I'm sure you're switching between the two semis anyway, but I'll give you an update. 
Jasmine Ocean took the first set against Wei Tzu Chen and she's 1-1 in the second. I noticed something in Jasmine's game that I did notice in Austria. And it is, it's her approach to the table. She is emphasizing the fundamentals and how to approach the table, step into the shot. Uh, she has a coach now, I believe his name is Craig. Not 100% sure, but he was there in Austria and I've seen him here today. He was with her prior to the Sentinel match as she was warming up. Yeah, that's her manager, Gerald. Gerald, that's what it is, it's Gerald. There. Yeah, it's her manager. Very nice guy, one of the, one of the ones that helps organize Klagenfurt, the big event we've just had in Austria. Yeah, they've had it two years in a row, a very successful event. Oh, is there a gap? There is a window. A it's a window between the 4 8 to kick to the left rail, and right at the 1. A little unfortunate there. Jump. It's a bit of a long one. Should be looking for a kick first. She's called the one. In the corner. Can't be accurate here. Tembo is very, very close. She got around the back of it. Missed all the balls. Another scratch to the tally. She's had a few. Is that two shots now, then, George? Is that two shots? I remember when it used to be in the old days, playing pool. Two shot uh, foul, yes. Two shots carry. Not in this though. Ball in hand anywhere. Angle on his two ball to run the cue ball up for the three. She might play four ball. Shore side here, George. Well, she had to. Well, either not hard enough or uh, too hard. One or the other. She wanted to get straight in on that four to shoot it down the long rail. Does she bump the five here? At the eight, excuse me. No, she'll go around the eight. She'll have a perfect shot, a perfect shot in the side. Um, she can either play safe, which is a higher percentage than the bank. Let's see what she chooses. Some people like this back cut. You practice this a lot. Oh, beautifully played. To the cross. Nicely done. Harita looking good through this rack. 
She has to. She can't allow Kelly to open up a lead. She needs this one. She comes back a little bit to use that side, long side ray. Yep, she sure does. Maybe a little bit too far. That's what I was thinking. Have to go twice across now. You know, they're using the WBPA rankings for that uh, a women's showdown. And Kelly is number one in those rankings. Oh, Cho, what's gone wrong? She's had a lovely oh, little goal there. Cho is actually number 65. She's only played in one event, WPBA. Well, that was almost disastrous. And it would have been the second time in this match where she'd missed the penultimate ball. But no problem this time. She gets away with it, levels it up at 1 1. Well, the trend continues. Except that Kelly did win the first game of the second set, and she did break that game. So. Same score. Exactly. Over on table number two. 1-1 one, one in the second set. Jasmine Ocean having taken the first set in that one. Defending champion Wei Wei is up against it. Needs to come from behind. That man has racked some balls in his time, I can tell you. So he's been on every live stream in the world. Oh, almost made the one very close indeed. Cuba was very close as well. Is seven going to save her? It is. Well, wow, there was a clear shot on the one until the seven rolled in front of it. It's got the thinnest of edges. I mean, does it cut into the top right? Very thin. Sills, she will soon show us. Wow, it is real thin. I can't see what else she might decide to do here. I think that seven ball stops her from going in. She can't cut it back anyway. She's going to hit that just to the middle of the head rail there, or just there. And leave a low percentage shot. That's actually good thinking. You don't have to control the speed of the one ball. It's a safety. I don't think it's much of a challenge to hit it, but kicking it safe is something of a different color. Just leaked out where she could hit the ball, but uh, it's a long combination. Jasmine Ocean has taken the third rack in the second set. She leads 2 1 and one set to zero. Will it be Jasmine Ocean's coming out party? She hasn't won a big one in a long time. She 
won the WPBA event, the Soaring Eagle, for the second year running, actually, going to Kelly Fisher. Back in September, I think that was. This year or last? This year. This year, okay. Iron City Billiards, I think it was that. Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama. Kicking this two rails behind the one. And it looks like she's left to cut to the side pocket. Easy position for the two. And Rita will come to the table with a fairly good opening. She did not take advantage of that. I don't believe she has a shot on the two ball. She might be able to hit the right side of it. Oh, just a nibble of it. She'll probably have to kick at it. She came too far with the cue ball. Did that work out? She'll be happy with that. Sure will. Kelly will have a kick shot on this too. Yeah, she, if she can get behind this, right in behind it, she might call the corner. I don't think she can though. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, she's in a tough place. That was quite a good roll for uh, for Cho. Completely. I think she was trying to get the cue ball behind, behind the four. four. Misjudged it. And so reads a chow with another chance. Yeah, Kelly has to tighten down on those safeties. Can't give Rita opportunity right now. You got her. You you better you know kind of lock down. You got to keep the pedal to the metal here. And yeah, both these ladies have played a lot of pool this week. Both involved in the team championships. As I said before, they will be going head to head again later on this evening, 8:30 local time here in San Juan. Chinese Taipei against Team Great Britain. Wu Kunlin. Chang Jun Lin and that young lady go out. Make up team. That's a tough team. Very, very strong. Very, that, very strong. That's probably three of the highest Fargos of the world. Good team. Oh, again, she's overshot this ball, and she's trapped herself on the six. Oh, another let off. And for the first time, George, a mistake towards the end of a rack again. Well, she, she just did it on, uh, I think it was the two ball that she got behind the seven. Uh, great recovery, though. What a shot that is. Really difficult jump. Well worth another look. Mark of a champion. Great shot. And 
there hasn't been a rack between them for the whole of the match so far. They've been going toe to toe, blow for blow, jump for jump. It's just another day at the office for Chao Che Yu. Well, she's looking to have a good day in the office after that shot. This is a little touchy. If she comes back, she has to contend with a side pocket. If she goes forward, she can't afford to go too far. And she's come back. This is a little tester. A little bit of a tester. And she passed it with flying colors. It's been a tough wreck, this one, but she's got through it somehow. We'll take the lead again at 2 1. And it's the first time a player has won two games in a row in this match. And an identical score on the other table Jasmine Ocean 2 1 up against Li Chu Chen. We could have an all Chinese Taipei final, we could have an all European final. We could have a European and Asian final. Who knows? But we will have a final. final. That's right. And it will be at 5 p.m. later on today, local time here in Puerto Rico. And that man will be refing it, I believe. Our head referee, John Lee. I wonder how many pairs of gloves he's gone through over the years. I remember last year he had a hole, hole in one of them. I had to go and buy him a new pair for his birthday. <laughs> I remember that. There so goes the ball. seven, there goes the nine. Yeah. Shot on the one. And there's a possibility here. Look at the two ball, a little bit hampered, but... Can she work a bit of magic? That's the first time Cho breaks in this set. And the last set, she didn't have a dry break, so she has not broken dry yet. Score flash from table number two. Jasmine Ocean on the hill to win the match against Weiwei. Weiwei could be waving goodbye. Jasmine at the table breaking, too. So hit it, she I wonder hit it rather. Well how attacking does she feel? I think she attacks this. Oh wait a minute, that's a little tougher, a lot tougher than I thought. Yeah, that view makes it look a lot easier. And that shot is probably the better one of the two. The attack or the safe. Higher percentage was the safe. Somebody's phone going off. noisy crowd don't you George then a little polite one they clap every so often I tell you I like the excitement when team Puerto Rico played USA and then uh, last night when team Puerto Rico who could they play last night 
America. Again? No, Team Puerto Rico played Spain, excuse me. And then last night they were playing America. It was the same kind of excitement. I mean, the people were crowded around the table and very vocal. The Boricua, which is people from Puerto Rico descent, were in full force. Wow. That's a strong safety. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think she went all out for the bank there, George. Well, if she went all out for the bank, she wasn't playing good position. She got. She was very, very lucky. Hit the two ball, hit the three ball. I think it was a hit. Okay. Changed the whole shot. We'll look at this for a, a return. Now then, she's playing the dead ball here. She's got to go at it, hasn't she? Oh, sure, rail. Sure. she sure does. She's got to play it off the rail. You get shots like this in one pocket all the time. You just, <laughs> you just smile and say thank you. Just, just make sure. Oh, you don't kick at this. You don't kick at it. Yeah, she's got to. Oh, cut it from there. Kelly will be grateful for another chance. Yeah, just caught it a little bit too thick. been more than one rack gap. No. And I don't think there is going to be still a good chance here for Kelly Fish up to level it up once again at 2-2 two -two and she'll be breaking to get on the hill. forward. Well, she's got to come between the six and the eight if she goes forward. Played some inside on it. Yeah. Nicely done. She'd like you got more out of that. Still have her to make this though. Needs to get that break working though. <laughs> two two. Can't separate them in this second set, but it's still slight advantage to Kelly. One set up and also breaking to get on the hill in the second. Well, the break has not been Kelly's friend. You know, the other hand has made a ball every time she's broken the balls. So I'm sure that's exactly why Kelly changed after the very, very opening game.
Final coming up 5 p.m. not long from now. Teams at 8.30 tonight and I'm looking out the practice tables. Is that who GC out there I see? Oh, knocking a few balls around. I've never seen him pick up a cue. No, it's not. It's Mario He. They do look similar from a distance. There's only one panda, though. You know, both of the Fishers last year in the World Ted Ball. I'm sorry, just this past month in the World Ted Ball. For semi finalist, yeah, Kelly went down to Han Yu and Allison after being 6 1 up, I think it was, against Cheska Centino. Ended up losing that one. And Cheska, as we know, went on to win the final. Yep. Against Han Yu, played absolutely brilliant in the final. She played the first half of the match with Allison, uh, was all Alice. And then she fired in a long rail bank and it fired her up as she just went on a tear. Oh, could be all. Oh, it's okay, nice friendly bump this time. On the eight ball. Oh boy. Oh, and there's another. Uncharacteristic miss, and she's done it in nearly every rack, hasn't she? She's missed quite a few. She was up off that shot then. I think that's at least her third miss this rack. I mean, this, uh, this set. <laughs> Not always easy to get the cue ball out of there, especially when you're bridging over another ball. It's pretty good. Draw back for the four to the top right hand corner. Yes, you felt a very nice position on the three. gone too far on this one as well. Really has struggled with the pace. That was tough to get it back for the five. Yeah, she might just take a longer five now. Just leave the cue ball as close to where the four is now. Just maybe take an easier shot. A longer shot rather. He could follow these two rails too. With a little bit of left. Oh, she did draw out of it. No she draw out of it. Came by okay. Oh, she didn't want to catch that, but it's turned out okay. Acknowledges to Chow that she had. Bit of a run of the ball there. Not too much into it. Well, she's going to have to go. Looks like. I think she can just go in between the eight and the nine, George. Mm -hmm. Says so she had to go back and forth here. She did a very good job of that shot. Very well judged. And that was awfully tight. Recognise that voice on the microphone as Dwayne Payne used to be one of our head referees here. He's now tournament director. 
for the leagues. Q Sports International, the BCA, has their Caribbean Expo here in Puerto Rico. Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe that? Well, you know, the fact that, that Rita is making balls on the break, that's very dangerous. Sooner or later, she's not going to miss the balls that she has been missing. Wei Chiu Chen has just pulled a rack back. And it's Jasmine Ocean. Defending champion now trails 3-2 in the second set, but still trails by one set to zero. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's Rita Chow who is first to the hill this time. She'll be breaking to level things up at one set all. But remember, there is a third and deciding set. Only at 3-3 in the deciding set will we go to a shootout if we need to. And at this rate, we probably might. Yes, I think it's fair to say neither player is playing right at the top of their game. There's mistakes from both of them, as we saw in that wreck there. Still got a smile on their face, though. Who's she smiling at? I think she's looking at you, Mark. I took Kelly to Thailand with me after we were in Manila at Sharks playing the, the exhibition matches there. I took her to Patea to double kiss where she had done some exhibitions. One ball in the side. Where's the cue ball? Oh, it's in. The it seven got ball. helped in. The seven ball herded it in. It just pushed it all the way into the pocket. It was kind of on its way, but not going to make it, I don't think. There, and then all of a sudden, seven ball gets get in there. Well, I'll tell you, Kelly needed that break because if she's able to keep the cue ball on the table and has an opening shot of the two, she's very likely to run out. So now Kelly has to run out, has to run out. There's a mecca in here. No, that was a mispronounced two. So I corrected it. Everything is just out in the open. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything this rack because it looked like she was out in the last one and then missed straightforward eight ball. This you think is the key shot is a five to the six, but that's not even a problem. Right, isn't it? She should get too straight on this. She would like to have a little more angle from what we can see on the screen anyway. I'm not sure I whether think. the table's playing a little bit quick and not overcompensating for it or the opposite, running a little bit slow. It is pretty damp today, George. Well, she got back in line real quick. All she has to do is come around the 10. Just go right by it. Straight back. Kind of on the same angle she is now on. Yeah, just avoid getting too near that 10 where it might hamper her queuing. Oh, she doesn't she's want that. She's got too straight. I think she's going to have to run it round two angles now with a lot of right-hand spin. I think she might just have some kind of angle. She's shaking her head. Maybe she hasn't. Struggled with a pace again, Jim. George Harry. She's too straight in. Time. Oh. 
open up. Well, that's about as good as she can do from there. For position. Uh, now it's just hail, hail. The problem here is she misses this, it's going to sell out. There's no getting safe here. She missed it. And I lied. Oh, no. She could see it. Incredible. And that all stemmed from a poor shot from seven to eight. Well, what a gift. And to be fair, Rita has gifted a couple to Kelly as well. Notably that nine ball. Yeah, shaking her head. And we are going to be all square in sets. It's going to be one set all. We're going to go to a decider. 4-2. And we're going to go for a couple of minute breaks between this set. Who knows? We could be going all the way to a shootout. Wouldn't surprise me. So you won't want to miss this, guys. We'll be back very, very shortly with the deciding set. Back soon. Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This 10 ball to win the title. He is your champion. New world champion. Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This 10 ball to win the title. He is your champion.
And we are back to the live action with no players in the arena. But I do have a little bit of information for you. First of all, in the second set, Joe had one dry break to Kelly's three. She had one foul to Kelly's zero fouls. In addition, oops. Joe had four errors to Kelly's eight errors. And that's what kept her in the game. She got four games to two. Yeah, I just had a word with Kelly Fisher. And she was saying that she's struggling with the pace of the table. I did mention that, didn't I, Georgia? She you did say that. Pace. Yeah. And she said some of the rails are pinging, some are a little bit spongy. And it's got a lot to do with, you know, with the weather outside. Very, very hot and humid. Tropical climate, of course. And in here, it's pretty cold, isn't it? With Where do you think I got this cold? <laughs> I brought two jackets and thermal underwear. Yeah, George thought we were in Alaska. May as well be. Thought he saw a, thought we were gone, gone whale watching or something. Meanwhile, we're into the deciding set. And Rita continues her breaking ways and pocket two balls on the break. Is the two or one? Goes the two and the eight. There's two. Good. Now does she have a shot on this one seven? Yes, yeah, she just lost control of the cue ball. Didn't quite go as far as she wanted it to. Yeah, the other semi-final going the same way as this one. They're going on to a third set also. Locked at 1-1. One, one. Just seen way too ten walk past me. Going out for a bathroom break. So it's neck and neck in both semi-finals. One set all. And you know, at the top of the food chain here, uh, you expect it to do that because no one's going to really dominate. But we have had, we have seen that. Look at that stretching and playing it wrong-handed. Anything not to use that dastardly bridge, George. She should be used to it. She's a snooker player. Who is? Kelly Fisher. No, I'm talking about oh, okay. Chow Che. You just used it, mate. Or didn't use it, more to the point. Nice hit. Ten ball. Won't count. She didn't call it. Straight on bank shot. Will she take it? It's possible it goes in off the five as well in the side. Oh, there's no bank shot there. The angle's way too off. It goes off the five, if anything. I glanced at that. It looked good when I first glanced at it. So without safety here, bank the one twice across. Good shot. Well done. Possible jump shot, or both cues, just in case. Yeah, lays down the player. She's going all out jump here with the air rush. Air ball with British Airways. They're taking off in approximately three seconds time and landing about a second later. Successful lady. Very successful. Kind of skidded across the cloth, didn't it, when it landed? Well, when you're uh, jumping a ball and it comes off the object ball and hits a rail, it, it comes off like a knuckleball. So it looks like a skid. 
It's sliding off the rail. A lot of, especially on a new cloth, you really see it then. We've been ocean on one of the outer tables. He's been practicing for the last two hours, getting ready for his team match tonight. Great place to find free table time. Yeah, I noticed a lot of the tables have been dismantled already. I think there's four or five gone, George. That was a nice shot and a really, really nice bump on the four as well. She'll take that all day long. Yeah, they don't waste any time in putting things away. Overdrew over that by so much. She's overdrawing everything. She's okay. She'll just come off the rail. Come to the well, middle. Not my point, though, George. You know, the, the point is that her cue ball is not exactly where she wants it at the moment. Everything is going overdrawing. That's better. You know, when you keep getting out of position, it doesn't do your confidence any good. It's okay that you've still got a shot on the next ball, but when you're overhitting everything... Well, she's really corrected it here, and she's back in line. And she underhit that one. But since there was a risk of getting behind the 10, she backed off on it a little bit. Yeah, gesticulating exactly that. Now she's got a decision to make. Do you drag it in, take a more difficult 10? Do you punch it, just drag it in? And she's missed it by trying to steal angle. Well, the only good thing about missing that ball is that it's the first rack. It, it all stemmed really from, you know, the overdraw on the five, then the under hit on the six. Look at this. Oh, she's doing okay. I thought, I thought it was going to come up against the ten. This is great. So a very, very nervy first rack in this deciding set. But it is going to be Chow Chow Yu. She can slide this down the rail. She does. Well, some stats for you from set number two. And to give you an idea where Cho won all her games, she won with a ball and head safety. And then a miss by her opponent, and a miss by her opponent. That's three games. And Kelly won a miss by her opponent, and a miss by opponent after safety. So. The errors are there. They just need to be counted up and readdressed in practice. side here from that angle. Four almost getting bumped in. It did its best. And now here's a shot. Number one. He's there. 
maybe not. It's going to be close. Well, on the tenth break of the set, Cho misses a ball for the second time. But she means she's made a ball eight out of ten times. That's the highest I've seen anyone make a ball. This is a mountain. It's very close as she was playing with left hand spin as well. Maybe just went into the one a little bit thick. This is a real chance now. For the first time in the match to open up a two rack lead. We've never had that. No. This looks really good for Toe, not good for Kelly. But you only have to get to three in the deciding set to be guaranteed the very least a shootout. Stop shot. She was very close to. That's why she rushed it. Yeah, the, the, stop, the stop shot would have served her well. She could have gotten two rails. Well, actually, she's probably better off here. She could bring the ball around for the six. Yeah, she's used the left leg, just coming across twice. And that's what that outside English could do sometimes. You know, that's why Kelly missed the one ball into that pocket at the beginning of this rack. She was using outside English, caught it a little thick. Done the same there. Let's have Kelly in this time. Six, does it still drop in the side? It's, it does, but it's questionable. She might be playing this to the top left, you know. Looks a lot easier than the, the side does. Oh, yeah. No, she's overcut it. Seeing these two ladies miss so much. Well, you know, one thing I might say is it is awfully humid outside. And some of it might be trans coming in here. Wow. She's really got away with one now. If 
First of all, I thought it was going to be in the pocket, and then I thought, hang on a minute, she might hook herself. See the relief on her face. Can only be pressure. With this ball being on the rail. Makes it a little tougher. Especially after a shot like she's just shot. But no, she makes it. Child had jumped in the booth with me for a second there, George. Where did that noise come from? <laughs> Two zero in the third and deciding set. This is a tough one for Kelly Fisher to come back to, especially after the two errors in a row she just made. It lost her that, that game to tie it up. And I'm not sure Kelly will fancy another shootout, to be honest. I mean, she'd take it over a lot, of course, after the alternative, but Rita only needs this one to ensure at least a shootout for herself. Well, all of a sudden, she's breaking dry. And it does the one past the four. And is there... So for seven or eight out of ten breaks, she makes one. And now she's broken dry twice. And what about this? If this one ball does go in the side, Possibility of a 2 10 combo. Well, the way Kelly has performed, I think she takes it. It's a long way away. But she's in a position to get a good angle on the two to make that time. I think she's having a look at it. She is. And why not? Quick rack is what the doctor ordered right now. She's going to be going for it. Would have liked to have come just a little bit further to be dead straight in behind this two. A little bit of frustration there. Yeah. Now what do I do, she says. If it goes to the side, play to the side. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Best she way said to go. She's called Temple. Doesn't want to play it, but... And it doesn't go in the side, George. That's what. Well, it does it for this, this shot. The way it lays it forwards, what one good thing for Kelly. She can hold the cue ball on the side rail on the right and use the, the, the nine seven as a blocker. It's there. It's there. Great shot, Kelly Fisher. Two one and breaking to left it up again. What a what a game this is. You never know what's going to happen. Anything can happen. Dry break from Chow. Leaves the one over the side, 10 over the corner, make the one, 2 10 combo, 2 1. Sometimes the ball knows who's winning. And they try to remedy that. Just spotted Phil Burford and Darren Appleton. Now yeah, let's have a look at this 2 10 again. Watch how that cue ball does go for a two way shot. Played. Yeah, Darren Appleton and Phil Burford out having a practice. Mario, he's over with them as well at the moment. I don't know what he's doing over there. They're having a little bit of fun together. And Kelly to break for game number four of the third and final set. She's gone back to the centre, and this is the break she had most success with in her quarter final. Watch out for the seven in the inside. It went low. 
Nothing down the game, George. Kind of a shot on the one. Yeah, the break is that bit of a thread. Darren's gone back to his glasses, I can see. He's been playing with them on and off. He's got them on again at the moment. He's got his upside down snooker glasses, George. Did she find cover? No. Kelly will probably opt to hit the right side of this one ball and come two rails all the way down to where the cue ball is now, past that wall of balls. Send it past. Yes, she should. Well. Uh, she should bank. She could have banked the one ball down and come around. But I like this the best. Yeah, it's the one you said, George. Just like you said earlier, Mark. Every once in a while, I get one right. You said that about yourself. And I knew you were kidding. I was going to say, George. I wouldn't say that about you. Well, I, I get it wrong all the time. I've seen comments in the chat and on YouTube all the time. <laughs> Great jump shot. Oh, the cue balls ran on and on and on, though. No. Well worth another look. Great jump on the one. Kicking at this one round, try and make it in the side. Straight on kick. She she's makes a hurry. She'll have position. Quarter extension. I think she was going to fire quickly at it, but second thoughts. Big shot this now. Looked like going 3 0 up. Good solid kick. Well, Kelly has a shot. This is a good two ball to the corner. Holds the cue ball to the side for the three. Should have an angle to run to the four. We could be tied in a matter of minutes. Jasmine Ocean has taken the first rack in the deciding set against Wei Chi Chen. That match also available on our other YouTube channel. Brilliant. Another quick rack. Very nice 2-10 carom. Two early 10s in a row. Look at this. Well worth another look. Kind of played a two-way, judged it to perfection. And Kelly Fisher actually is three-time English billiard world champion, in addition to her six snooker world titles. Those of you, it's kind of a little bit like Karen, but with pockets. I've played English billiards. I used to have a friend from Scotland in Tucson. He always liked to play that. Yeah, it really is a great game. And she showed that she's... She knows her angles. This match has changed right around. It looked like Chow was guaranteed at least a shootout. And now Kelly Fisher is the one looking to get on the hill. She'd just like to make the ball the break. Yeah, she swapped sides here, look. Two ball. Shot on the one, there goes the five. Three balls oh, this, open, everything's well that, open. That was a good switch, George. And yes. why not? Why not have a little bit of a change? And it's worked. Oh, she was quick to switch after the first rack, and she's switched a couple times since. 
She was breaking from the side, went back to yeah, the middle. Now, I mean, she swapped sides yeah. completely, not just from the middle to the side, That's but sides completely. After Arena's been breaking from. Just a follow shot, come down for the three, look at the four, try to the line. Has turned on its head, hasn't it? This well, uh, final. Yeah, but she's laying a little funny here to get on the six. She has to come through those three balls. Can she stay underneath the ten? Looks like she can. Well, never mind. Oh, she went by. She hits the ten. She'll be behind those two balls. That was a fortunate roll. I missed that. Certainly was. Seven does go into the same pocket. Here's the extension. Got to come up for the seven or stay down there. Nice shot. Great positional shot. Jasmine Ocean now 2 0 up in her deciding set against Wei Chu Chen, defending champion. bit of trouble with this eight ball in previous racks. Well, this was pretty close to the hole. Guess he's going to want to cut it thin anyway, so. Should be in good shape for this. Get the cue ball close to where she is now. Where she finds it from sometimes. I don't know, but a stop shot here will put her in business and straight in dead ball. So many times you see her, you think she's down and out, especially in the quarter final earlier on today. And it looked like she was almost down and out in this one as well. And somehow, from being almost 3 0 down, she's now going to lead 3 2, and she does, and it goes. What a turnaround! And she will be breaking for the match. Now, I think she'll be breaking from exactly the same place she did in that rack. Because she made two balls. And Chao Cha Yu never got a shot. Scores just corrected. It's actually 1 1 Jasmine Ocean and Wei Chu Chen. So nothing separating those. That match is available also. Table 2. This one rack for Kelly. Big, big break. Right back where she broke from. She made ball, two balls on the break that last game. Can she do it again? Well, one extreme to the other. It's dry. And she's left the shot. And look at this open table for Rita.
wife may be just a little awkward. Pocket this ball to come out to where about the 80s. Oh, and she, oh, it goes in. I thought that was going to stay on the table. Yeah, I did too. Not. She can play it to the left hand corner. Oh, oh this isn't going to go. Oh, no, it isn't. Well, but she's had a result. John asking, Kelly asking John to come and look if it's frozen or not. It's going to kick this in and win the round. I would, I would, that's what I had about saying before I kicked it in. A shot will give her position on the six. The kick it will not. Cho Chayu to tie things up. And maybe we still get the shootout. Well, it will be the shootout. If Chow wins this, we are going to a shootout, guaranteed. Yeah, well, she has to pocket six balls. She's highly favored to but what, what we've seen in the past three or four games, we've seen mistakes. From here, I doubt she makes one. Reigning champion Wei Chi Chen has taken the lead in the deciding set against Jasmine Ocean by two racks to one. Three balls to send it to a shootout. That's the best that Cho could do here. Because a miss would cost her the match. She's got to refocus. Just got sharked slightly by the shot clock. Let me try saying that. And it looks a formality now. These ladies are going to have to get themselves ready for the dreaded shootout. And the 
shootout it is then. And I'm sure our ladies are going to take a well-earned break. Oh, Chow Chow Yu is staying in her seat. No, she decides to get up. Two-minute break. Chow just making sure. So don't go anywhere. More excitement to come in this semi-final. We'll be back with a shootout very, very soon. Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This 10 ball to win the title. He is your champion. You will champion. Champions. And we are back with the shootout graphics here. Four innings, alternate sides, highest score wins. You can see by the check mark, the hand of the cue ball is where you can start from. Cho broke or won the lag, so she has the choice to go first and choose the side. That is her choice. If they're tied at the end of four innings, the cue ball is brought back one diamond and they go to sudden death. So the shootouts at this at this stage are more prevalent due to the fact that the talent is much closer. In earlier matches, the percentage of the shootout is down lower than in later matches usually. Uh, now that we that that format has been changed a little. It used to be a shootout if they were tied one match apiece. They changed the format to appease players and probably the public uh, of going to a third and decide each set but kept a uh, version of the shootout by if they tied at three it's the shootout. Here we go. John Lehman placing the 10 ball where it spots in the rack not on the spot Ahead. Cho will shoot first to the right hand corner pocket. Oh, wobbles it in, but it's in. That's all that counts. And just to let you know, they are still on a 30 second shot clock. Look at that. Played off about four different rails there, George. Yeah. <laughs> Mario He behind me. Look, come to have a look at this. Mario going to be involved in Team Austria's match tonight, and Darren Appleton's yeah, there as well. That's he's right. just stuck his cue right up my nose almost. There's a serious match going on here, guys. <laughs> so Kelly Fisher then. There is nothing serious about what we do. You can bang him on the head, Darren. Kelly to shoot her shot. This is just like baseball. Four innings. The hope team must answer, and she does. 
and being attacked by a tiger. Referee always waits for the ball to stop rolling. We saw Tyler Steyer scratch off one of these off four rails in a shootout last year. Everyone's touching me today. George, what's going on? I've been attacked by Darren Appleton. Bonnie, the event manager, has just had a go at me as well. Chow Chow Yu. Second shot of the first four. Solid. Solid as a rock on that shot. What a way to get in the final match. Win a shootout. Yeah, and the final isn't going to be that far away now. It's already gone 20 past four here. Well, final scheduled for five. I don't know whether they might move it back a little bit or not. If they don't miss a shot, we might be here till five. Half ball hit, and she makes it. Got a little bit of the side, but made it anyway. Yeah, no extensions available in the shootout. It's a hard 30 seconds, that's it. And if the beeps are going off when you're on your backswing, that's the way it is. The other match, 2-2, two -two, Wei Chu Chen against Jasmine Ocean. And the crowd just grew by about 20%. When this, when this match went to a shootout. Yeah, big difference in prize money. Winner of this match guaranteed a minimum of 13,125 with a possible shot at 22,500. Worth just under seven thousand dollars this shootout. How's your nerve, ladies? And keep in mind, if it goes four innings, this is the bottom of the third. If it goes four in the fifth inning, they back it up a diamond. Makes the shot considerably harder. Even though it's the same kind of shot, but just that little bit of distance changes it. Uh, there's a lot of heart out there. Kelly Fisher never been short of fight. She had to go through it in the quarterfinals, and she did. Came through that one. Don't forget these two head-to-head -to -head tonight, 8.30. Great Britain against Chinese Taipei, and these two will be locking heads again. Fourth shot. This will put a lot of pressure on Kelly if she makes this. And there's a lot of pressure on her. She's missed it. She's missed it. It's a chance now for Kelly Fisher to close it out, a place in the final. She, she makes this, she wins. Kelly can steal this match back with this one shot. If she misses, it gets backed up one diamond. This one shot is worth just under $7,000. And it's there, Kelly Fisher goes through to the final of the Madaya Light Puerto Rico Open 2023. It's Chow for this year to Chow Che Yu.
but she will be back in the teams later on. We'll see Kelly Fisher in the final very, very soon. Even John Lehman gets a hug. Look, I wonder if Elle Strickland would give her a hug. I doubt it. I doubt it. Maybe she'll cut it, uh, John's home again. We'll be back for the final, but who will it be? Well, we know it's Kelly Fisher. Will it be Jasmine Ocean or defending champion Wei Chu Chen? Find out very, very soon, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, George Teachea. I'm Mark White. We'll see you very, very soon. Ta-ta. Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This 10 ball to win the title. He is your champion. New world champion. Champions. Kelly, we're moving it back a half hour, 5.30. All right, let's confirm, guys, we're going 5.30. Vince, we're in Yeah, yeah, I got it. I forgot about that. I have to do something. That would be good for me, too. Yeah, yeah. Now you're out of your head.